God loves you, God loves me, and God loves everybody. God loves you, God loves me, and God loves everybody. Woo! Yay! Hello, universe, and welcome. What's going on, universe? Right. And welcome back to the Mrs. Wonderful Show. All right. The Road to Success Series. All right. Is what we're into now. We almost through the series, ain't we? Yeah, we almost through the All series, right. everybody. Woo! Just hang, hang with us for a little while longer. We almost there. We almost. We there. we almost yes. We almost we almost there. All right. And I am just so glad and honored that you have chosen to join us. On today. Mm -hmm. One more time. Join us again. One more time today. Yes, I would mm -hmm. like to say thanks to my um, guest and co host uh, for joining us. Mr. Bumpkins is still on vacation. I don't know when he's coming back. <laughs> I know, Mr. Bumpkins. And for those of you who don't know Mr. Bumpkins and you're just tuning in, mm -hmm. just go back to our first season and second season, I think he's on. Right. Um, well, yeah. This is the third season. This is so the third season. So it would be on previous. Yeah, the previous season. Previous, previous yeah. season. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And he's like a little guy. Little yeah. guy. <laughs> little guy. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about stop downplaying yourself. Great topic, man. Great stop. Topic. Yeah, stop yeah. downplaying yourself yeah. and chase your dreams. Universe, I want you to mm -hmm. stop downplaying yourself mm -hmm. and to chase your dreams. There's a lot of people out there that's downplaying themselves for a whole lot more than what you're worth. You're putting yourself in a lower pedestal when you need to be up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Many of us walk around and know you're better than what you've been doing. Mm -hmm. A lot of you know you have dreams, but you limit yourself. Mm -hmm. You keep your dreams in a jar. So just like Steve Harvey says, it is time to take the lid off. Take it off. Burst it open. And pursue mm -hmm. your dream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You deserve it. Mm -hmm. And it might be hard because when you're pursuing your dreams, your numbers might be low. Mm -hmm. Things might not be moving the way that you thought. Right. You expect to be a billionaire overnight. Mm -hmm. There's no overnight successes. It takes time, work, and energy. Mm -hmm. And I am here to tell you, like he said, mm -hmm. Tony says, there is no time limit on success. No time limit on success. And let me tell you this. Hear me loud and clearly. There is no time limit on success. Not at all. Okay? And you have to be in it for the long haul. Yes, you have to be in it for the long haul. And it's going to get very hard. The people who you see are successful have gone through a lot to get to where they're going and where they are today and you know for those of you who already are successful blessings to you now this is your time this is your time to shine you have God on your side sometimes when you're chasing your dream it may seem like you are repeating the same day over and over again trying to figure it out you know um i've been there have you been there i'm getting there i'm getting there it's a constant the constant repetition okay the constant repetition would be very 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 tiring but re repetition comes greatness you have to keep doing it and keep repeating it and keep doing it over and over and over again do you think LeBron James got a good jump shot or he's good at his game because he worked at it maybe two or three times a day or maybe two or three times a week. You think Steph Curry got his three point shot like that? No. It takes constant repetition and I'm pretty sure everybody gets tired of doing the same thing over and over and over again. But with repetition comes greatness. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I tell you, Tony, you 
you just um, shock me every time. You always have something to say, and you you add flavor. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. So, thanks. You're welcome. Um, is today your day to be successful? Mm -hmm. Now, trust me, you know, I, I know I've been there, what we were talking about. Is there um, anything else you would like to add, Tony, um, before I go over? Which, uh, yeah, do you have anything you want to add? Oh, um, well, yeah, I got a couple things I uh, kind of want to, I was say kind of want to add. There are a couple of things I want to add um, in regards to downplaying yourself. Um, I like to use this analogy a lot with a lot of people where you have to make yourself what are you worth are you worth pennies or are you worth dollars so it's kind of like you gotta ask yourself that question like am i worth pennies or am i worth a dollar which one would you rather be worth would you rather be worth a penny or would you rather be worth a dollar you have to treat yourself like you worth a million dollars if you treat yourself like you worth the penny then you gotta believe that everybody around you is gonna treat you exactly what you exhibiting. If you out here, you walking around and you looking like you worth a penny, then people are gonna treat you like you worth a penny. If you walk around and you treat yourself like, hey, I'm not worth a penny, I'm worth a dollar, I'm worth everything that this universe and God has in store for me. You have to treat yourself as such. You have to look the part. You have to look like you worth a dollar, not a penny. I know people be like, well, a dollar is not worth much, but comparing it to a penny, would you rather have a penny or would you rather have a dollar? Which one would you rather have? A dollar. I would rather have a dollar too. So I'm just making the analogy very simple that if you think pennies, and actually this was actually in Ray. He was mm -hmm. telling Ray, if you think pennies, you're going to get pennies. You start thinking dollars, you're going to get dollars. Mm -hmm. So you have to exhibit you mean yourself. the movie Ray? yeah the movie Ray. okay he told him when he was try i think he i can't remember the scene but i think he was uh i think that one of his, one of the managers came up to him and he told him well, ray if you start if you're thinking pennies you're going to earn pennies but when you start thinking dollars you're going to earn dollars so me i took that i took that as a personal analogy for myself to say hey am i treating myself like a penny or am i treating myself like a dollar now we all have the moments when we have down moments but you have to keep on t constantly telling yourself I'm worth more than what I'm doing and if you downplaying yourself please get yourself out of that mind frame get yourself out of that mind frame get yourself out of that thinking and don't treat yourself as such treat yourself like a dollar don't treat yourself like a penny because you work more we all here and we all are worth something but it all comes down to how you think and what you think about yourself so please don't treat yourself like a penny and don't allow anybody in your life that are worth pennies so if you worth a dollar, don't allow people in your life that's treating themselves like pennies. Because if you worth a dollar, you should be having attracting people that's worth dollars around you. you no. Know, you bring more dollars bring more dollars. More pennies bring more pennies. And I know some of y'all well if I have a ninety nine pennies, if I got ninety nine pennies, then that equals up a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> but do you want ninety nine pennies or would you rather have ninety nine dollars? Make a choice. You want 99 pennies, which, okay, you got 99 pennies, or do you want $99? One penny away, you, you're a dollar. One dollar away, you're a hundred. Make your choice. You make your choice of what you want to be and how you want to exhibit yourself. Yeah. So that's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. Now, um, speaking of you talking about um, changing your mindset, you know, the frame of mind, I want to go over a fixed mindset versus a growth mindset okay all right let's do this let's do it mm -hmm. a fixed mindset is when you tell yourself you are unable to achieve your goals and you need more talent penny thinking hmm penny thinking excellent what you're doing is putting limits on yourself mm -hmm. A growth mindset is you constantly improving your strategies and mm -hmm. efforts. You stretch yourself and expand your abilities. Dollar thinking. Wow. God is so good. I just have to say, God is so good that... Dollar thinking. Oh, so that's, God that's, is so good. It's funny that, you know, you had that and then that kind of led right on into that. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. God is so good how things... You know, all things work together for mm -hmm. you. You know, you're good. That's just God. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, now, 
Examples. A fixed mindset says, are you sure you can do it? Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't have the talent. Mm -hmm. A growth mindset says, I'm not sure I can do it, but I think I can learn with time and effort. Yeah. So sometimes you have to change the script mm -hmm. that's in your head and talk sassy back to yourself. Mm -hmm. Honey, what? <laughs> I think we all gotta do that. Yeah. We all gotta self motivate. We all gotta self motivate and get the engine going in ourselves that we have to, you know, keep telling ourselves that, you know, we might not think we can do it, but we have to get the engine going and like you said, talk sassy to yourself. Because you can't be you can't be passive. It's almost like sometimes you gotta talk to yourself as if you're a bully. Like as if it's a bully talking to you. Because a bully would say that to you. If you pass it with a bully, the bully gonna keep on coming back. But the moment you start standing up for yourself and you get sassy and you start, I can't say what I want to say, but you start getting that off together to say, hey, listen, I can do this, man. I can push myself to get this going. And I don't care what you say. And I know it sounds funny. You talking to yourself, but you're like, no, I'm going to get up and do this. Stop talking to me like this because I'm going to get up and I'm going to do what I have to do to be a success. I'm going to make up my mind and say, hey, I'm going to get this going. I'm going to keep this moving. I'm going to get this going. You have to really push yourself to really say, hey, listen, this is my day. Today is going to be a good day. This is going to be a great day. And I'm going to keep on pushing to be successful. I'm going to keep on pushing until I get where I got to go. Yeah? And no, it's you talking to you and oh, not yeah, nobody yeah, else yeah. talking to you. you and we just, we covered that, too. We covered a show on that, too. You know, just mm -hmm. check out the other shows and you are... Um, you know, UFC that we spoke about that as well. Can I add one more thing? Yeah, that's fine. Um, um, I wanted to uh, add another concept. Now, I got this from another book. Um, I was reading uh, the book by Tyrese called How to Get Out of Your Own Way. And he had a segment in there about uh, selfish love. That sometimes, going, well, connecting that selfish love to um, stop downplaying yourself. That sometimes in order for you to be healthy, you have to be selfish. Meaning that you have to take care of you, take care of your health, take care of of, 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 of your mental state, of your spiritual being. Because I know sometimes you'll be out there and people might think certain things of you or they might require certain things of you. But sometimes it requires for you to have a little bit of selfish love because you have to take care of yourself. You know, and, 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 and taking care of yourself, you can't downplay yourself. You know, so I just wanted to add that, dude, you know. You might feel like sometimes that I'm being selfish with my time or I'm being selfish with me. I mean, sometimes you have to because it's healthy to be selfish about yourself, especially when it comes down to your, to, to your health, your spirituality, and your, and your physical being. Sometimes you just have to be selfish about what it is because you're taking care of you. You can't cater to everybody else when you're unhealthy or you don't have yourself to go. You know, so you need like a balance, I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah you give, you, 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 give, balance, you yeah. give some, and you you give some, but you have to also keep some stuff to yourself as well. You can't give it all away because if you give it all away, then you really have nothing left for yourself. And then sometimes you give so much away, you don't have nothing else left to give, which leads to a breakdown, and you're tired, or you can't do it no more, and you're frustrated, and all this other stuff. So just remember to, you know. Take care of yourself in the process of you not downplaying yourself, you know. So don't be scared to be selfish with your, your, yourself and have selfish love because you love yourself. How much do you love yourself, you know? Tony, if you don't mind, I mm -hmm. think I might want to have you back on the show again because it's been interesting. Be for the rest of the season. No, I'm talking about an invitation oh. to come back and maybe... You know, um, you know, I don't know. I, you're just very interesting. Okay. I mean, I ain't got no problem coming back. That's okay. fine with me. <laughs> yeah. I'm here the whole season, but sure, I'll, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's just yeah. an invitation. Just, okay. You know, for future. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm okay. sure you're well, never... Thanks for the invitation. I, yeah. I accept. And I know you're, you're, you know, very busy, you know, off screen well, as well. I can make so. time. I'll make time. I'll make time for the Mrs. Wonderful show. Okay. I'll make time for the Mrs. Wonderful show. Now, Tony, can you go over the book of the season? Oh, okay, yeah. Book yeah. of the season. Book of the season is uh, 
act like a success, think like a success. And I want to get this right because the last time I was kept, I don't think I kept going in and out of the frame. But act like a set, act like a success, think like a success by Steve Harvey. That's a tongue twister. Woo. <laughs> act like a success, think like a success by Steve Harvey. Once again, it's good tidbits in there. Check it out, read it up. Go back and forth because it's, a, it's not a straight read through. You can go back and forth and you can keep on reading and you keep on finding things out of it too. And if I can make a reference to, to the other book I'm reading back and forth as well, it's uh, called How to Get Out of Your Own Way by Tyrese Gibson. There's some other things in there too that you can read and some good things that you can, that can really get in and, and absorb and get inside of your head that when you read it, is in is, is in the same department. So it's all about motivation. It's all about motivational skills, and it's all about getting better. That's that's pretty much what it is. And I know a lot of people might be like, "Well, how can Tyrese write a book?" It's a good book. Check it out. Good Thank book. You. Thank Welcome. You. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now, um, on to our. Um, that's gonna conclude our discussion. Concluded. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Welcome. And on to the history lesson. Okay. Did you know that roses, the flower, flourished over 35 million years ago? Okay. Nice, right, Tony? Mm, that's a long time. Yes. Yeah. Throughout the history of civilization, yeah. people from around the world have held the rose close to their heart. Mm. Roses represent things like beauty, love, and mm -hmm. politics and all. So roses, we love you for being you. Yeah, and I and, and I want to yeah. say, Tony, I have a rose for you. I get a rose? You get a rose. You have been like such a doll. You get a rose with a teddy bear. Yeah. Hey, I get a rose with a teddy bear. Yeah, Thank you. Tony, you have Appreciate been that. such a good um good sport and hey. um you know, I just wanna tell you, um, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, well, hold your rose up right. oh, for the universe. I, well, I don't want to just stand here with the rose. Okay. Okay. But y'all see it? Got the rose right there. Yeah. The teddy bear. So he ain't, no, he ain't got no eye, but. The teddy bear, the teddy bear. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was funny. All right. Well, and that's all the history I have for you on today. My name is Mrs. Wonderful. Reporting from the Mrs. Wonderful show. Right. Now, um, if you have a question for me, Mrs. Wonderful, Mr. Bumpkin, or Tony, um, please contact us at ksharpkids at gmail.com. Again, that's ksharpkids at gmail.com. And remember, stay cool, stay smooth, stay smooth. Make it smooth. Stay smooth. Okay. And stay marvelous. Marvelous. As always, God loves you. God loves me. And God loves everybody. God loves you. God loves me. And God loves everybody. Bye, universe. One more time.